All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of working out in the cold, except we're inside, so it's warm. Uh, are you two small weights for some bicep curls and shoulder lateral extra, lateral raise exercises? Uh, let's start with side shuffle, all right? So I always start right out of the gate with my kind uh, of leaping to the side. Um, but this morning, I'm going to start with the walking to the side. If you've never done this, if you always just, I don't know, try to keep up and find the first 30 seconds distasteful, well, this is an option, right? You can make uh, little steps that are quick, uh, big steps that are a little bit slower. And this is where your neighbor who watches you starts to get confused as to what is that person doing? Uh, hopefully that's not your experience. Okay. Uh, now, if it's there for you to progress to a little bit of a hop, um, take advantage of your ability and try it out. If you've never tried it, give it a shot. One or two steps, then come out and assess to see how your feet, your ankles, your knees, your hips liked it. Three, two, one, come on out, butt kickers. All right, we're doing this a little bit quicker now. So whatever speed you like, speed it up. So today we have four exercises. We're gonna do hop squats, then a bicep curl, then a jumping jack, then a lateral raise, four exercises on a 40-10 clock. So just kind of like the last day, uh, more cardio hit, less strength. Uh, 10 second rest is just barely enough to make you feel like you want more, more of a rest. So, so three, two, one, come on out of that. Let's do full leg swing to opposite hand, touch the knee, touch the shin, maybe the toe, but the key is here. You've got some rigidity in your abdomen. Okay, so that's the plan. A little more cardio, a little less strength. Get your head in the game. Uh, so right out of the gate, if, if you're like, oh, I hate that. Well, then you know that you need it. So you're welcome. This is for you. Three, two, one. Excellent. Let's do some baby jumping jacks just because jumping jacks are part of the deal. So when we do jumping jacks, some of us are, might just do a step in, step out, and you're working on quick feet, okay? Or whatever speed of feet you want, okay? Uh, if the hop is there for you, and it's not for everybody, uh, like I hate it for sure. So then try it. It can be when we do them, it's for 40 full seconds. So find a speed that you're going to maintain for that. Maybe it's big and slow, big and fast, uh, whatever you can change it up to. Three, two, one. Okay, now we're hopping and popping. We get the feel of that's going to be a lot of work. Okay. We're all gonna pace ourselves so it works for us though. Okay, so dynamic mobility. Let's take right foot back, right hand down to the floor, twist to the left, and look at the ceiling and switch sides. That floor is too far away from you. Don't step too far back. Elbow onto front knee and just twist a little bit to the, to the outside. All right, here we go. We're doing it using the full body. I know my talking distracts me and I flail all over the place. So that does the same thing for you. Sorry. Just working on moving the whole body kind of at once. If you feel you put this into segments, you move one thing and then the next and then the next, well, that's okay. The evolution of that is moving everything together. Nice work, everybody. This is where we're also catching our breath a little bit, still breathing. We're doing one more each side. Sometimes we get out of breath just because we don't breathe for a bit. So keep your breath deep. All right, that's it for that. Okay, grab some water and let me just uh, give you the deal. So hop squats, hopefully I said that right the first time in the intro. So it's a hop in a squat. And then up, feet together, down, together, down. So the, the slow part is when we're in the bottom, enjoying that squat. And then it's tap and right back down, okay? Uh, you can also do a step out, sit, pop up, in, out, sit. That works too. And then we're all gonna choose how low we go. But all of us, when we get ready to sit, the bum is gonna reach backwards. We're all gonna do that the same. Then we're gonna quickly grab the weights. Bicep curl, right elbow goes straight at the bottom. Boom, uh, 40 seconds, that's quite a while. 
from there we're going to jump into jumping jacks and again this might be at 40 seconds so find a pace that's going to work for you for the full time and then we're going to come out of that we're going to do lateral raises so shoulder exercise to the side key feature with this is that elbow needs to be a little bit bent and i'm going to say the weight it's not right to the side but it's slightly in front so when you see me from the front it looks like the weights are going right straight sideways okay but in fact i'm holding them slightly in front okay and that's what we want really important elbow leads the way back of the hand points towards the ceiling and you do not have to go all the way to level if the weights that you have are just a little too heavy then go as high as you feel comfortable pause and come back down all right oh <clears throat> strangely excited about this uh i don't know why right okay i hit the timer so we're going in three hop squats two one here we go so with this one for sure you're exhaling as you as you jump up there we go this is uh using your strength but it is taxing that's the halfway mark it is taxing your kind of higher intensity cardio ability we're living the dream well not yet this is the kind of the beginning of the nightmare but later three two one come on out <laughs> uh Okay, grab those weights because we're doing bicep curls in three, two, one. Here we go. So we are still huffing and puffing, but bicep curls does not tax the cardio. So catch your breath. Exhale as your eyes. 10 seconds. In three, two, one, rest. Okay, get ready for jumping jacks. I'd say the best way to make this a bit easier for you so you can keep up. Three, two, one, jumping jacks is uh, stop a little early or start late. Like I'll say, go. And then you just count to five and then go, okay? There's no difference with that, okay? Again, I just time these, just randomly shoot in the dark to see my best guess as to what we can all do. But we're all very different, even from workout to workout. We're almost there. Three. Two, one, come on out. So maybe I do every workout based on what I can do. And you find some easy and others hard. We're all different. Okay, ready, set, lateral raises. A 10 second rest is a bugger, eh? Okay, so after, after this exercise, round one is done. We'll take an extended break. Exhale is your eyes. Don't shrug the shoulders. Shoulders stay low, arms rise, arms bent, back of the hand to the ceiling. Oh, I can only imagine how good all of you look at doing this here. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, walk it out. This is our chance. It's not a huge rest, but it's for sure longer than 10 seconds. I'm not measuring it. I just pause this. And then when I feel like I want to go again, we all go again. All right, so here's the deal. You got your pace figured out. Did you go too slow? Did you go too fast? We're doing two more of these. Okay. <clears throat> all right, ready. This is where I'd like to like be in the class with you to see like who's dying. All right, hop squats. Three, two, one, go. 
Not gonna lie, this one gassed me at the first. <laughs> When you're in the bottom position for this, your stomach is bracing just like you're doing a plank. And that's what bursts your air out of your face. <laughs> Over halfway. Ten seconds. Five. Three. Two. One. Rest. Oh my goodness. Big breath. Grab the weights. Bicep curls in three, two, one. Here we go. Catching our breath. Oh, no talking. In the sea. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, get ready for jumping jacks. Three, two, one, here we go. So for me, the hop squats completely gas me and the jumping jacks don't do anything for me. What does that mean? Yeah, right. I have to do more hop squats. Big breaths all the way through, over halfway. Come on, right to the end. Three, two, one. Rest. Grab your weights. Get ready for lateral raises. They're coming up in five. Three, two, one. Here we go. Control. So we go from an arm flailing exercise to an arm control exercise. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, extended rest here. So maybe just before the last set, this is when you conjure up an image or a memory or a thought of why uh, for you, why are you doing this? Uh, and it can be a really substantial, awesome, virtuous reason, or it can be a terribly superficial, vain reason. None of that matters at all. Your reason is your reason. If it works for you, then you use it. Uh, now, we have that third set to do. Conjure that reason up. Let that fuel your fire. And let's hit this third set. Okay, we're going in five. Hop squats. In three, two, one. Here we go. Come on. You got your pace figured out, so don't slow down. That's halfway. In the summer. Come on. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Big breaths. <laughs> Bicep curls in five. Grab those weights. Oh, man. Three, two, one. Girl.
Okay, you just passed halfway. Come on. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Put those weights down. Get ready for jumping jacks. Last jumping jacks of the day, right? Oh, a nice big group coming out here. Three, two, one. Here we go. Check your face quickly. Try smiling. Research shows if you smile, this doesn't feel as hard. Not making it up. That's what research shows. 10 seconds. I know research can show anything. I like that research. Three, two, one. Relax. Get ready for lateral raises. It's true. They actually had people view a happy face prior to doing something really hard. Lateral raises. Three, two, one. Here we go. And if people see a happy face, they report lower exertion rate for the same level of intensity. Don't swing those weights. I'm just watching myself. Lift, squeeze, enjoy. We're almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, put those weights down, walk it out. Nice work, everybody. Oh, when everything feels fine, like it's not injured, but I'm also just getting tired and I feel like whining a little bit. I try to remember what my arms feel like. When I'm injured and then I'm really super whiny, so. Okay, Woo. that was good stuff. Okay, we're catching our breath, catching our breath. Uh, as we're doing that, um, let me describe to you uh, part B. This is a bit of a changing changing lanes hard here. Uh, not into strength mode, but kind of back into balance like we did the other day. We're gonna do a teeter-totter or a single leg Romanian deadlift with no weight. So while we're dealing with this huffing and puffing, we're gonna try to calm that down, uh, feel our fatigue, yeah, but, but still take our focus into ourself, focus on our balance and some technique. So an SLRDL or a teeter-totter movement where we hinge from one hip, and we teeter over as far as we all feel comfortable. If that hamstring is tight on the bottom leg, that limits how far you're gonna go, but that's fine. Um, our goal is to have our ear, shoulder, hip, knee, and ankle in line as we tip over, okay? So I'm gonna give us a clock of 40 seconds. And so we're gonna just try to go into the movement and out of the movement for 40 seconds on one leg, okay? So I'm going to do this right away before we get too rested. So patience, perseverance, you fall over, get up, try again. Ready, set, here we go. SLRDLs, slow and controlled. Once you're all the way over, you may choose to just hang out there for a bit, okay? The leg that's on the ground, that knee is almost totally straight. Not completely straight, but not very bent at all. All of us will feel a tendency to bend it a bit too much in order to give us some balance. So resist that urge. When you're, when you're bending over, I'd say keep that knee almost uncomfortably straight. Three, two, one, rest. But if you're a hyperextender where your knee goes back, hyperextends naturally, you're gonna wanna control that other leg. Three, two, one, here we go. So your breath is no longer paired with your movement because you're moving so slowly and you're probably still huffing and puffing. If you're not, you did part A wrong. 
Or maybe you just have tea and toast for part A and watch to make sure it's not too crazy. And then you just join us for stretching. Which is totally fair. 10 seconds to go. In three, two, one. Come on out. Nice. We're going to do that same thing on the other leg. I will, so two more times each leg. Three, two, one. There we go. I would say resist the urge to touch anything around you to catch your balance. Don't cheat. You won't learn that way. Instead, just put your foot on the ground, catch your balance that way. Don't touch anything to catch yourself. And three, two, one, rest. How's it going? This might just be a gong show for some of you. Other leg in three, two, one. For some, it might just be like a ballet audition. It looks so good. Thankfully, it doesn't matter which one you are. Normally, a movement, an exercise like this immediately brings us to the limit of our ability and but safely and when we're at that limit and periodically failing that's when we're improving the most three two one rest okay one more time each leg All right, going in three, <clears throat> two, one. Here we go. In controlled and out. Sometimes the third round is the surprise bonus round where everything is now keyed on. It's working properly. Your balance is kicked in. You got it figured out. And if you didn't push through round one and two, you'd never get to this place. We do not have enough time for me to explain and list the benefits of what we're doing here. Three, two, one, rest. Other leg in three, two, one, here we go. But one of the benefits that my mind instantly goes to is that fairly typical story of someone who's, I'll say elderly, and, but they're doing well, right? They're still on their own. No one's looking after them. Maybe somebody shovels their driveway for them, but they're self-sufficient. And then slip, fall, break a hip, go to the hospital, get an infection. Oh, that happens, right? We're almost there. This prevents that. Three, two, one and rest. Okay, walk it out. Ooh, that kind of makes the hips burn a little bit, eh? So, <clears throat> uh, funny story. Normally, I only do this exercise when I show people how to do this exercise, which pre-COVID meant <clears throat> I was doing it every day. Then I go home, I didn't do this exercise for two years. My ability declined. Okay, sweet. Let's get a mat, um, let's get a mat and do stretches, not burpees. Okay. Oh, that was good stuff. All right, we're going to do a glute stretch. So that um, last thing that we did really kind of tightens up the glutes, which is what we all want. But we also want to stretch them. So uh, on your back, left ankle across right knee. Um, all of us are going to try to arch our back, meaning make it leave the floor. It doesn't have to leave the floor, but just try, okay? And then you're either going to grab your shin, uh, so my left ankle is across right knee, so left toes lift inside my shoe. And if my arms are long enough and I'm flexible enough, I'm gonna go through my leg, intertwine my fingers. And here we go. So everything is relaxed except for the left toes are lifting 
and my back is gently trying to arch. That's it. So this is kind of tied myself into a knot. Half of me is relaxing, half of me is working. This isn't like super comfortable. Three, two, one, and come out. <clears throat> Other leg, right ankle across, left knee, and same thing. So if your right ankle is across left knee like mine, the stretch is for your right glute, right butt cheek. If you feel it there, great. If you don't, it doesn't matter. It's still working. And you're still breathing. Three, two, one, and come out, switch sides. Excellent, same thing. There is an art to kind of holding tension in some parts and relaxing other parts. And you get good at that by practicing it. And that's what we're doing. All right, now we're living the dream. Right now the workout's over and you're thinking to yourself, that wasn't that bad. I'll just bring to your attention how much you may have been whining after the first round. Remember that person? Three, two, one, come on out. No, you don't remember that? Yeah, me neither. Remember those toes inside the, in this case, the right shoe? And by habit, I do both just to make sure I'm doing the right one. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Perfect. Okay, we got one more on each side. <clears throat> this is a stretch that we sometimes do with our foot, that foot that's in the air way up front. Put that against the wall, and then you don't have to hold your leg with your hands. So it's less energy spent. Because for example, after a while, I'm like, ah, oh, my arms are getting tired. I want to let go. But maybe I need to hold the stretch longer. So I'll scooch myself up so my foot's against the wall and then I don't have to use my arms. Three, two, one, switch sides. Something to notice, is one side different than the other? Probably, chances of both sides being exactly the same are really super slim. So if you have one side that's a bit tighter than the other, uh, one way to do it is, is rather than following my instructions, just start with your tight side. And then at the end, when I say goodbye, do one more on that tight side. So maybe four, three or four on, on one, but you're doing five or four or five or six on the other. Mm, three, two, one. And slowly come out of that. All right, so oh, if you're with me live here, you know it's December 1st. Like I said last time, you made, you made it through November. Now we're just, we're on the track, right? We're, we're not getting off of this until spring comes and we'll be so happy for it. So nice job, thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. And I will see you again later. Take care. Thanks, Dwayne.